Hi, I'm Hiram Garcia, Senior Field Engineer for PFI. Today we are going to do a spring replacement for Viberflex 2. We always want to hit the disconnect and shut it off before we, any work is done to it. And also use your guidance lines through your GMPs that are required. So at this time I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen these and take them off. We have a total of four bolts, two on top, two on the bottom. What the preference is, is to go ahead and uh, loosen the bottom nuts first and take the bolts out. The reason for this is that you want to try to keep the spring assembly all together so it doesn't fall apart on you. And right now I'm taking all the components off from the bottom of the springs. You can see how we're hanging here and then I'll go ahead and loosen the top ones. So after the bottom bolts are removed, you want to remove the top nuts. And with the other hand, you want to hold this assembly together so it doesn't fall on the floor. And we just use these hands just to take everything apart. Just like that. So once the back spring is removed, then we just like to take the whole assembly and remove it all at one time with the bolts in place. These are the spring assembly components. We have a phenolic spacer, which are used to go in between the springs to keep their spacing. We have our composite spring that is also used. We have different thicknesses that are used. This is a .204 spring. We have our spring bars that are also located on top and bottom of the spring assembly. And then we have our hardware, our nylon nuts, and our threes by 16 bolts. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble a typical spring stack. We're gonna do a two. Required are the phenolics that go over the spring bars. This is to protect the spring from getting damaged. So we have our first spring, and then again, we always use phenolic spacers to keep the spring separated. And then we just repeat the process over until our stack is complete. This is a double stack, which is complete, ready to be assembled onto the spring tab. So we're putting the spring assembly back together again from when we took it off. Very important of the order that you assemble it. Use a phenolic spacer. Our third spring. Another phenolic spacer. And our spacer bar. We put our nuts on. And we normally assemble the top first so that way we don't have to hold anything while we're assembling the bottom. Now we're going to assemble the bottom section of the spring tab. We always want to, again, follow the procedures. Get the phenolic, the spring in place, add the other phenolic, our second spring bar, and then we fasten. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten these bolts using your standard wrenches that are required for this. You want to just snug the bolt down just like that to where we can go ahead and put a torque wrench to it. Okay, and the last and final step is to torque each bolt down. You have four bolts that have to be torqued down to 25 foot-pounds. That's what's recommended by the manufacturer. Once the work has been completed, we take the block off and turn the unit back on.